Hi everyone, it's me again with an additional video about hunting moose at Lake Ovangila following up my earlier video. In this video, I'll be sharing footage from chapter 4, 6 and epilogue 2. I didn't include this footage in the previous video to keep it from getting too long. My intention in making this video is to demonstrate and establish that this method works regardless of the stage of the game you are in, as the upcoming video will show. We start from chapter 4 and then move on to chapter 6 and then epilogue 2. The process is the same as what you saw in the previous video, so I don't make any comments unless it is necessary. Whoa. <laughs> Did you know except in this place the event where the wolf is chasing a bull moose can be seen in three other locations as well? I used to think that once you hunted the bull involved in this event you wouldn't see it anymore in the same location. But once I saw this event again in a location where I had previously hunted the same bull before. I'm not sure if this applies to all locations, but I have never seen this event twice here, even though I have been here many times. It might be possible, but to me, if possible at all, it is very hard or almost unlikely. Keeping this in mind, once you hunt the main moose, you will only encounter the secondary moose in this location if you return later. The second spawn point spawns indefinitely. This means if you return a few days after your initial hunt, as long as you have followed the basic guidelines, you can spawn this moose again and again.
Throw it up. So up now. <laughs> Easy.
the stage. I'll give you a good prize. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Easy, whoa. Easy now.
This is a perfect example of not neglecting the already spawned moose as it eventually despawned if we neglect it for too long. Fortunately, we still have a tree star moose waiting for us. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah.
trouble, mister. You looking for trouble? Listen, I know well, it can be confusing, but that's because you have a log in your eye. I know I have one in mine. Good morning to you. Round the stage, right this way. I have noticed this fisherman in other chapters too and for some reason I feel that moose don't spawn as fast when he is around. So here John handles the situation gently and encourages him to leave. It's better to avoid a gunfight when we are too close to the spawn time. You see, moose spawn immediately. Now I don't know if this is a coincidence or if the fisherman is the troublemaker. If you don't mind, please check it out and let me know if you think the same or not. Take more than that to stop you, girl. Easy there. Easy girl. There's my girl. Okay, as you saw, the process is straightforward. 
but there is only one point that I would like to take away with you after watching these two last videos and that is the importance of the cool down period. This is essential for this method to work. So please be sure to take at least a 72 hour cool down before attempting to hunt. Neglecting this will most likely result in failure. However, following this simple guideline makes the rest like a breeze as you saw. With this in mind, we will meet again in the next video soon. Have a great day wherever you are.